in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design for our cosmetic product grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document let's grab our assets so we proceed with the base then we are going to copy this image ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste right click and convert that to a smart object ctrl t and we are just going to transform this So we are just going to adjust and position this properly. Now let's grab the next item. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. We leave it here for now. We are going to grab the next item. So we are going to copy this underwater. So we are going to convert this to a smart object control T and we are just going to transform this. We rotate and position it right here. Ctrl T, we are going to distort this a bit. Ctrl T, and we are going to distort this a bit. Now we are going to send this layer to the top. We convert that to a smart object and we send it above all layers. Then we are going to position and transform it this way. So we are going to position the parachute right here. Let's grab this. Ctrl T we are going to transform and position it right here. So we are just going to make it smaller. So let's grab the arc. I'm going to copy the cosmetic product now. Pressing control T, we are going to transform and we are going to rotate it a bit. With the layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity. Then we are going to create a max. We are going to grab a pen to zoom in and we are just going to create a selection this way. Then we are just going to create a selection this way. 
you press control enter to create a selection we grab the rectangular marquee tool we right click and we are going to fill it so we are going to fill that with the background color which is black we hit ok and everything disappears ctrl d to deselect now we can set opacity back to 100. We are going to transform and rotate this. We position it just a bit. With this layer selected, we are going to distort it a bit by pressing Ctrl T. Then we are going to right click and warp it just a bit. Then we hit OK. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. You just need one month, but that's a mistake, so I'm going to delete that later. So with a soft time brush, we are going to set hardness to zero. Foreground is set to black. As I said earlier, we don't need two masks, we are just going to delete one. With this layer selected, we are going to create a color balance adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. So I'm just going to manipulate this just a bit to play with the mid tones, highlights, and the shadows to get something bluish. So we are going to reduce the opacity. With this layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to overlay. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With a max selected control I to invert. With a soft arm brush, we are going to reduce opacity for one is set of white and we are going to paint some shadows. We are going to reduce the opacity. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. With a max selected control I to invert. 
with the soft hand brush we are going to paint Okay, this layer selected. We are going to paint a max with a max selected. You press Ctrl and to create a selection. We grab any of the marking tool. We right click and we are going to fill that with the background color, which is black. Then we hit OK. Ctrl D to the select. Then we can set opacity back to 100. Now I'm going to grab the polygonal lasso tool and take care of this. Control D to the excellent. With this layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to overlay. With the layer selected, Control J to make a copy. And we are going to set the blend mode of the copy to normal. And we are going to reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are going to paint some shadows. So we are just going to paint some shadows. Basically we are going to repeat the same process for the leaf and the shark. We are going to apply some shadows. We are going to set the blend modes to overlay and normal slash the opacity so we have that underwater effect we take care of the shadows and highlights then we proceed With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft hand brush, foreground is set to white. We are going to paint some shadows.
We are going to set it to blend mode to overlay. Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we are going to right click and we are going to create a clipping mask. We are going to set the blend mode to normal and slash the opacity. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. With a max selected control I to invert. We are going to reduce the opacity for when it's set to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. So we are going to overlay the product with this texture. We are going to create a case adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. So the effect applies to to the layer. Now above all layers, we are going to create a case adjustment layer. We are going to reduce the opacity. So we are going to grab the bubbles, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, and we are just going to position it right here. So we drop the layer right here. We are going to set the blend mode to screen. In the layer selected, we are going to create a levels adjustment layer clip onto the layer. With the layer selected, we are going to create a match. With the match selected, we are going to grab a soft tone brush, then we are going to set foreground to black. Then we are just going to mask out this portion. So we are just going to paint some particles, add the light rays, try to match the color. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. Right click and convert to a smart object. Then we are going to apply camera roll. So filter, camera, or filter. Then we are just going to play with all the settings until we like the outcome. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Till next time. Stay creative.